if you have type 2 diabetes, you should be including these five herbs and spices in your diet. I'm Dinah, a registered dietitian and a certified diabetes care and education specialist. I'm on a mission to help you gain control of your blood sugar levels and reverse the root cause of type 2 diabetes. So if that sounds good to you, please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel. Now let's spice things up and explore how herbs and spices can positively impact insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes. Like fruits and vegetables, herbs and spices offer many nutritional benefits, antioxidants, and anti-inflammatory properties that are essential for diabetes management. So antioxidants in particular are a type of compound found in certain foods that help to neutralize free radicals. Free radicals are these unstable compounds that our body generates in response to environmental mental sources like tobacco smoke, UV rays, air pollution, and they're also a natural byproduct of certain processes that happen in our body. But if we don't consume enough antioxidants from our foods to neutralize these free radicals, it can lead to something called oxidative stress. And oxidative stress is an imbalance between antioxidants and free radicals in our body. And oxidative stress can cause damage to organs and tissues and even contribute to certain diseases like type 2 diabetes. So by avoiding ultra processed foods and by focusing on antioxidant rich foods like fruit, vegetables, herbs, and spices, we can address oxidative stress and support the reversal of insulin resistance, addressing the root cause of type 2 diabetes. So let's get into how herbs and spices actually work. The magic lies in specific compounds they contain, including alkaloids, polyphenols, phenyloic acids, vitamins, and flavonoids, all of which are essential at protecting the body from free radicals and inflammation. So what are the best herbs and spices to not only neutralize free radicals, but also to help lower blood sugar levels? Here are five of the top contenders backed by scientific studies. So number one is cinnamon. Research suggests that cinnamon enhances insulin sensitivity and efficiency, making it a great addition to your meals. Sprinkle it on oats, cereal, or even in your morning coffee. Number two is ginger. Studies show that ginger is very efficient at lowering blood sugar levels and cholesterol levels. And for those with type 2 diabetes, it also shows to have a protective effect on your liver, brain, eyes, and kidneys. You can incorporate ginger easily into stir fries, marinades, or even into your morning smoothie. Number three is turmeric. With its anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties, turmeric may also increase insulin activity. It does this by significantly reducing fasting blood sugar levels and A1C levels in people with prediabetes, type 2 diabetes, and with metabolic syndrome. So spice up your dishes with turmeric in spice rubs, curries, or even in your morning oats. Next on the list is roseberry. Promising research indicates that rosemary may prevent hyperglycemia due to its insulin-like effects of its polyphenols. Other benefits include lowering cholesterol levels and even decreasing the pain associated with arthritis. You can easily add rosemary to soups, marinades, and roasted vegetables. And last but not least is aloe vera. Beyond treating burns, aloe vera has been shown to decrease blood sugar levels and triglyceride levels. Specifically, in one meta-analysis, the consumption of aloe vera was associated with a decrease in fasting blood sugar levels and A1C in people with pre- and type 2 diabetes. To get the benefits of aloe vera, you can easily add a little bit to your smoothies or even to your water. Now let's tackle the age-old debate, fresh or dried herbs. Both options offer the same nutritional profile and health benefits. While drying herbs enhances shelf life and concentrates the nutrients, fresh herbs are best for uncooked dishes or adding at the end of cooking. So either way, you can't really go wrong. Choose whichever fits best with your lifestyle. And herbs and spices are not only flavorful, but they're also a great option for those who are looking to reduce their sodium intake. So there you have it, the incredible world of herbs and spices and their impact on type 2 diabetes. Which herbs or spices do you see yourself adding to your meals? If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time.